Hey everybody, welcome to uh, my channel, Outside Screwball. You know my name's Chuck. Today's a little different view. Um, we're standing, or you're standing, in the doorway uh, looking into my start of a wood shop here at my house. As you know, I think we talked about it last week that uh, I was looking to move into here. And Saturday was quite an eventful day. I think I put in five miles walking back and forth around my house. Well, it's Saturday afternoon, and you saw the, uh, the picture of what we had here in the past. Got a great help from my wife that doesn't want to be on video. There she is, but I'll go flash back. And uh, I got the uh, shop cleaned here and looking to start moving machinery tomorrow morning. And just so you guys see, let's see if that'll come up. 3.4 miles I walked today in moving this stuff back and forth. 3.4 miles. A lot of stuff we moved. But we're almost there, and uh, I'm excited. Too bad the floor has some grease stains, but uh, the sawdust won't matter. So, going to start moving here shortly. Uh, moving stuff. You can see I whacked my head looking for something. Um, but we got basically this, this shop clean and managed to move in all of the woodworking equipment. Uh, I still have to build a demising wall and we still have one uh, center stall of uh, items to uh, pack and put away. So one car's uh, Corvette sitting outside right now. It's on the list to get it done quick though. So uh, with that said, um, we'll, there's, there's electrical to do. I think the layout uh, that I have in here is gonna work pretty good. Uh, the table is lined up with the table saw so that uh, longer sheet goods I'd have support in the back. Uh, the chop saw is mobile, takes up some space, and you might be able to see the joiners over here. I'm uh, planning on picking up a, a dust extraction system, uh, get it set up in here also. Um, so let's, uh, let's go handheld for a second and uh, we'll take you over to the other shop. Just a quick view. So there's the uh, joiner. Table saw is down there. I can open up the door and use the table saw. The uh, chop saw, my bench that I just rolled it over here. It, it is on casters. And then, uh, I don't think you can see it there, but the drill press is back behind the light there. So let's, uh, let's go handheld and we'll come over here for a second. Back across. Say hello to our buddy Adam. And we're in the main shop. Oh, quite a glare down there. Quite a glare. Let's, let's walk down here. So my goal was to uh, move the welding table down to this end of the shop. Sorry for the glare. Let's see if we can get over. We'll, uh, let's move further down. Hello, Howie. How you doing, buddy? So... The goal was, was to move the welding table down at this end of the shop. Well, there's just not enough room. And I kind of knew that going into it. Um, the table's four foot wide, and it leaves me about four feet on either side of the table to, uh, to work. And I was hoping to move the welders down over here and keep them uh, stationary and ready to, ready to go. Well, plan B. Um, and it's, it's one of these, plan B is, uh, let's let it stew for a while. That's to be honest. Um, the, the welding table is going to stay mobile, just using the pallet jack to move it around where I need to. And I can park it out of the way just like I used to, so I can use my car rack. And that's important. I still want the, to use the car rack. So with that said, I'm seriously thinking, or dreaming um, to move the uh, surface grinder right over here so it would be right in this area here you can open up the door for dust extraction and I think that's where it's going to go for its initial move of course all this wood and everything is going to go over into the other shop then with that said 
um, I'm grinders and uh, saws may end up down in this area also. Um, so that's the current thinking. Like I said, it's going to stew and uh, figure it out. Sunday morning when I came out here and looked around, I, I kind of went like, wow, careful what you wish for. You might get it. <laughs> Dreams come true, but this one turned into a nightmare with all the move and figuring stuff out. But it's, in the end, it's going to be a great setup. So uh, let's, um, let's click over. Um, I got home today and I decided I wanted to build something, not move anything anymore. So I did a little video uh, and I don't know if I'll have the project finished, but uh, we'll at least uh, show you what uh, the build is going to be. So thanks again for uh, stopping by the shop. I uh, really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you again next Screwy Tuesday. I got home from work today, and I'm uh, I'm burnt out on moving stuff. I got to build something, so we're here at the Monarch, and the Monarch does have a DRO, but I find it very useful to have a dial indicator for just running down to a stop point. So I have a magnetic setup here that that works, and then the rod can come forward, and you can set your set your stop. Um, and although it works, there is a dovetail here that is designed for a stock um, holder for a indicator. But I'm going to make something today. So I'm going to make some. I got a dovetail cutter, and uh, we'll we'll uh, do some work with that. I actually actually have a good assortment of uh, dovetail cutters here. Um, and uh, there's the there's the Randy Richard dovetail cutter, although it's too big for the job that we want to do today. So uh, let's go over to the mill and uh, just going to do it's just a quickie, no drawing, no nothing, just kind of start cutting and figuring as I go. Okay, got a block of aluminum in the uh, vise here at the mill. They put a stop so I can just take it in and out for uh, testing and uh, testing the fit. I'm not going to be measuring here and uh, let me get it set up and we'll do a little milling. Nothing too much to see here, just running running back in, in and out the dovetail cutter. It's in aluminum. Pretty simple. We'll bring you back. Okay, the uh, rough dove dovetail's cut, and uh, it's about 800 thousandths across the bottom there, and I need about 850. So put it back in the vise and move over and clean it up there. Okay, the uh, dovetail's cut. Sits on there nice. So we'll end up drilling tap, and we'll put a, a thumb screw here to pull the uh, block tight on the dovetail, and then make the uh, setup for the indicator should work nice. Boy, that camera looks like it's blurry. Hopefully not. Anyway, a little quarter 20 uh, set screw on there, Allen head, with a uh, Sherlock knob on it. And that works uh, just fine. So that'll tighten it down. Now it's just to uh, set up the uh, for the indicator. Well, it doesn't get much easier or better than this. So, got some pork, and we're browning it, and we use this uh, little packet right here. Okay, so try this. All you got to do is brown the meat, mix this packet with some water, and put it in the oven for two hours, and you get some killer carnitas. Hopefully, I'll show you what it's done.